<laughs> Good evening. Welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a trek into. <laughs> Where are we? Forested Dean. <laughs> there you go, Forested Dean. It's almost a year to this month that I put the first uh, first video up. It was um, putting together a, a British Army bash of two poles. What I now know was the Adirondack shelter. Um, and that was done just up here in a clearing. And that was the first video we ever put up. The same journey, we then went into the woods and spent the night there. So that's what we're gonna recreate. We're going back into the woods. Um, and we've got some people that have not been wild camping before. So this should be fun. It's a difficult one when there's uh, more than just a couple because you have to try and find somewhere that's suitable um, but we think we're going to be able to set up sort of five hammocks in this area without um without sort of crossing over onto each other or causing each other a major issue so uh yeah i'll uh I'll, i'm going to start putting up the hammock then i like to fade him hammocks are all up uh, i didn't bother filming us putting it all up because uh it's been a bit of a uh, yeah, we just had to put them all up at the same time it was just a mess so they're all up now anyway we've got a uh, sort of open porches all around except for the young lad who uh who wants to hide himself away underneath there so i won't be showing him and then over in the background we've got a, a, a an outdoors man that wants the full experience of a, a bit more solitude so he's hiding over the back there we're all hammock camping um and it's looking pretty good actually i'm going to take a step outside and see what it looks like from from sort of the way we've been here before uh, i think i mentioned at the start of the video we came here 12 months ago and we camped somewhere somewhere don't know where it was but roughly in the same area jay's brought his mate from work Stu, to join us today is this your first your first um wild camp Stu? your first one is it your first wild camp yeah, yeah, the first one. cool uh, jay's first jay's still not done a wild camp yet because he keeps bringing this drama with him <laughs> hey by the way jay's got his own channel um it's brand new i mean literally it's like two weeks old it's called jay's wild camping so uh go and check it out i'll put a link to it well it would appear that when it comes to cooking it's every man for himself so uh stew set yourself up over there do a little bit of cooking jay's come and did the only flat spot in the woods quality cooking action here yep there's some uh Sausages for the young man, a couple of sausage sandwiches. Yes. And then I've got um, Chinese pork steaks and couscous, chili couscous. <laughs> Followed by um, some chocolate puddings. <laughs> no, I've got no pudding this time. I've got a, Do you want a whiskey? <laughs> Turned that out just the right time, didn't I? Do you want a whiskey? Do you want a whiskey? <laughs> Let's have a whiskey. So, yeah. Um, Dinner's done. So drinky time now. It is time for a few drinks. A few just, gonna, just gonna take a step over there right. into the the deep dark woods. It's always nice when you step away from the camp at night and just turn around and see it lit up. So absolutely pitch black. And it looks like we've got a clear sky. So straight away, there's a, I can see stars, even though my eyes aren't accustomed yet. So, oh, it's gonna be glorious if it is. Good morning. That's the uh, the night done. Everybody's wide awake now. Uh, as you can see, there are bits and pieces around us. Ryan's still fast asleep over there. I am going to go and try my new water filter bag thing. So somewhere over there, not over there, somewhere over there is uh, a, a small brook and a small lake, I believe. So I'm going to go and get some water and uh, see how the filter works, see how the, 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 
the new bag works. We found the water. I don't know if we're going to get to the edge of it. It's uh, it's all reeds and grass. And then you can see it sort of like slowly turns from bog to lake. So hopefully somewhere just around this edge is the water. Somewhere around there is the uh, is a little stream that feeds it. And we'll be able to get the water from there. Otherwise uh, we won't be collecting any water from here. It's all fun though, isn't it? Yeah. We've got water, we're not going to die or anything like that. So it might be nice to uh, to do the whole thing properly, you know. Okay, there's my water. A bit cloudy at the moment. Um, this is the gravity bag, new gravity bag I bought. Really good, high quality, um, sort of plastic PVC type thing. So now I've got the water, just roll it up. Keep it closed. Take that back to camp, attach the, um, the hose on the bottom, filter it through. Let's go. So next step now is hang the bag up, get the filter on and, uh, and, and start running this water through, get a nice clear drink of water for them, yeah, for us. I'm gonna take that while I hang this tree up. I'll hang this tree up, while I hang this bag on the tree. Replaced. You are? Yeah, quickly I'll get replaced. <laughs> well, I used to call you in and out the camera so far you haven't got out at all, have you? I Marlon. Mean, I mean. Marlon Brown now. Do, 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 do. A bit closer then. <coughs> it does come with like a shoulder strap um, to with these little hoops there, but I'm just gonna clip it through like that and let it hang on its uh, on its straps. Next thing is to get the hose out. I'm not going to touch the hose just yet. Actually, yeah, I am. So the hose, can't kind of look at the bus. The hose just sort of clips onto this little fit in here. So I'm going to push that in, and that's it. See the water's coming through, and then this has got a, a little sort of filter on it, a little lock. Let the water through, get a flow going. Okay, close that off. Get my filter out. Saw a minute. Put that onto the dirty end, like that. Unclip it. Just, just going to give it a little suck to help it along. Straight face. Don't swallow. With these filters, it's really hard to get the water going through initially when they're dry. But as soon as the water's through them, they, they actually flow quite well. But you do have to get them, them wet first. And then... It looks like it's quite slow, but that's actually going to fill up rather quick. <laughs> Finished water filtering now. So I've got a, a good old leaf. I'm just going to decant into this bottle. I'll just go over there a second so that I don't pour wet water all over the can. Obviously, I'm going to spill some of this, so I ain't that fussed. Go on, yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to try and get as much of that. The pouring skills or what? So there you go, still got a little bit of colour from the uh, tanning from the trees and that, but this water is absolutely good to go now. Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing quite like uh, fresh water from the wild. Well, I've got to say, for a, a cheapy £10 hammock, and that's all I paid for it, it's actually held quite well. The bug net kept the bugs off. The, uh, the hammock was actually quite a flat lie. It's only a single hammock, it's quite small. It's not very long. The only criticism I have of it is that the straps were a bit of a pain because there's no adjustment on them. So I had to, uh, to sort of literally jury rig um, a knot on this end to make sure that it fit. But uh, other than that, it's absolutely, it was absolutely brilliant.
I, I really can't fault it. I can't believe I only paid a ten, well, less than a ten, a nine pound seventy something once the discount had been applied. Twelve pound is, is the normal price. So yeah, quite impressed. Feeding time at the zoo? Uh, yeah, something like that, yeah. Getting breakfast ready. Still quite, it's quite late actually, more of a brunch. What is it? Yeah, more of a brunch, half ten. Let's have a look at what we're cooking on. So, I've got my uh, multi-fuel stove running with the Mets. It's going quite well. Jay's using his jet boil. Uh, with the frying pan. Kieran's using a, a gas stove there with a little titanium pan. Just doing his sausages. Yeah, normally when me and Jay go out, we sort of like, we just share the cooking or whatever, but there's quite a few of us here, so we're cooking for five. Yeah, good stuff. Sausage and bacon sandwiches this morning. <laughs> Sausages are cooking nicely. Kieran's jealous. Kieran's eyeing up my sausages, I can see. Bacon's cooking nicely. Nah, uh, it's not my bacon though. <laughs> there it goes. That's the bacon on the go. Sausage and bacon sandwiches any second now. Just going to do a quick. Uh, leave no trace check, make sure that we haven't dropped anything. Make sure that there's no little bits of, like that one there. That's, this is the kind of thing that you shouldn't really overlook. I mean, it's a tiny little bit of paper, but it's going to be there forever. So, when we do this leave no trace check, that's exactly the kind of thing we're looking for, because it's easy to miss it. No straps left on trees. Excellent. So that spot's clear now. So that's uh, that's the Forest of Dean Wild Camp done. Back where it all started from a YouTube perspective. Couldn't find the exact trees, um, so we just found somewhere else. But yeah, a, a nice wild camp. As per usual, quick check of the area. Just make sure we haven't accidentally left anything behind. Um, no bits of paper, no bits of string, no bits of cordage that we've cut off. Yep, so uh, as the saying goes, take only memories, leave only footprints. Leave no trace. So we're just walking a straight line this way. We should hit a path within 100 yards or so. Had to grab a short bit of video while this sun's on us. We don't normally get it. Promised, here's your path. So we just stay on this now until we get back to the car. Um, anything special happens between now and then, you know, I'll bring you back and I'll video it. Otherwise, I should just say another good camp and uh, I'll see you on the next one.